It's raining today. Why does it always have to rain on the weekend when I'm like getting ready to do stuff? Good morning, friends. We are getting ready to head out to get some food. It is a Saturday and unfortunately, it's a very rainy Saturday. I think it's gonna be raining all day. And this is the first time that I'm vlogging since I have been back from Asia. I've been pretty busy just the past few weeks editing all of the footage that I film, which I hope you guys have been enjoying because I've been putting a lot of time and effort into these travel vlogs. And then really just been busy getting my life back together and then working and dreaming of going back every single day because I had so much fun when I was there. But yeah, today after getting some food, I wanna go check out this new cafe that's open in the East Village. It's like a Hong Kong Cantonese inspired cafe. And then tonight, Andrew found a super cool speakeasy slash bar in Queens. Anyways, I'm super hungry, so let's go get some food. <laughs> So we've been to this restaurant before. It's a Polish restaurant, one of the only few ones in Manhattan, I believe. And they have a really, really affordable breakfast special here. You get a little orange juice, coffee or tea, toast and butter, home fries or french fries. It's so good and it costs like less than $13, depending on what you get. It's such a gem and I can tell that there's a lot of old timers that come here, a lot of loyal customers. I got a kielbasa omelet, which is like a Polish sausage omelet with some home fries and we got some toast and we got corned beef hash. This flavor is not as strong as I thought it would. It's kind of just fragrant on the top. Yeah. And then we also got a jasmine tea based Americano. Oh my god, this one's a lot better, but also kind of hard to mess up. And then we also got these cafe latte egg waffles. They're a little small, and I don't know why it's in a cup. We are in Elmhurst, Queens right now. We're about to go get some dinner at a Taiwanese restaurant. I am Taiwanese American, by the way. My parents are both from Taiwan and I grew up eating a lot of Taiwanese food. You may have realized that I don't really film too many Taiwanese restaurants on my channel. And it's because I think I have pretty high standards for Taiwanese food. There really hasn't been a place that has like super amazed me in New York City, to be quite honest. I think there's a lot of really good Taiwanese food in LA, but I don't know about New York City. Andrew here likes to make fun of me and I think it's a little frustrating for him because he'll always try to pick out Taiwanese restaurants for me here. And I'm just like in there about most of them. So this one though, Per the reviews online looks really authentic. So I don't know, I have high hopes. 
But yeah, let's see. Let's see if it's up to my standards. Also, if you're Taiwanese American or just Taiwanese, let me know if you have high standards too for Taiwanese food here. Just in America maybe because there's something about Taiwanese food you know when it's authentic like as soon as you take a bite and if it's not authentic then you know so something in our cooking you know it smells amazing here it is Fine. Let's see. This menu is huge. Look how big the menu is. Oh my gosh. Oh look, it's a... Wow, this place has late night specials and it's open until 2 a.m. So you can get any dishes with sweet yam congee for this price, which is insane. That's amazing. And late night specials or midnight snacks are a huge part of Taiwanese culture. So I think it's really cute that they have it. All of their dishes also look very, very authentic. What's catching my eye is the appetizers. These are all super authentic, super Taiwanese appetizers, especially the flavored glutinous rice, the meatball, fried radish omelet, fried stinky tofu, which I'm gonna get. Food is here, it looks so good. So we got this, which is fly's head. Looks like it's chives and minced pork. And then we got the Taiwanese beef noodle soup, classic. My favorite stinky tofu with the Taiwanese pickled vegetables on the side and then a chili beef stir fry. This is the first time I'm having stinky tofu in your city. Actually really good. It needs a little bit more seasoning and like it needs a lot more minced garlic. Taiwanese people love minced garlic and minced chili. Chase it with some pickled cabbage. All right, you guys, my mom's favorite Tony snack has arrived. Now I'm gonna send her a picture. We're right here, it's called Da Chang Bao Xiao Tang. It's basically Tony sausage, usually wrapped in a, like a sticky, a sticky rice sausage, and it's really, really good. Uh, I need to send all these pictures right now to my mother. Many of them are like really, really authentic Taiwanese options. It's amazing. I think the beef noodle soup was really good. My mom would really like it.
I did not expect this pastry to be so good. Andrew said it was all right and I was shook. It has so many layers of goodness. It is like kind of savory, sweet, flaky with like a Nutella filling in it, but then it's like honey glazed and just all these layers from the sesame seeds on top add so much fragrance to it. It's honestly amazing. It was $8, which is not cheap, but so good. Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. It's our first time in this neighborhood and I'm really excited because some of the best Middle Eastern and Italian food is here in Bay Ridge and my co-worker said that um, some of the best Lebanese restaurants in New York City are here so we're gonna go to a Lebanese restaurant right now. A lot of my co-workers are native born and bred New Yorkers. A lot of them from the Bronx and Brooklyn so they know all the good spots and I take food recommendations very seriously. They're always shocked when I go somewhere right after they recommend it because I think a lot of people usually put it off but no I take them very seriously and I trust them so yeah really excited to be in Bay Ridge today the Duchess of Bay Ridge no Complimentary, guys. This and also this oven baked bread is so good. It's like kind of chewy, crispy on the outside. Like this soup. soup. I know it's so good, especially with some lemon. It adds some acidity. It's so good. And they even gave us like this big salad. salad. And then they have self serve tea, and it's like a chai, cardamom, mm. spices kind of tea. Oh my god, it smells so good. I can't. Dude, I feel like this just goes to show their hospitality is just like amazing. Shook by how good this tea is. It is spicy, fragrant, soothing, free. Oh, I think our food is here. Okay, just got more bread. Okay, this is the reference to how big it is. And then Andrew just got some lamb. What's that called? Pasta. Fasa, lamb fasa. Shredded lamb in a hot clay pot. And then I got a chicken curry. Uh, mixed with some vegetables and then some yellow rice. Really bad with spices, but I really love my rice. I think it's like turmeric or saffron. And it's really good. And the chicken, so good. Honestly, I feel like the highlight of this entire meal is this freaking bread. It's like, it's just so good. And they give you a lot of it, so I'm very happy. Carbs on carbs. On carbs.
Oh my gosh, we just found the cutest cafe here. It's called Asal Yemen. Following the theme unintentionally of Yemeni food and coffee and desserts today, we didn't get any desserts because we're really full, but it's such a cute little coffee shop in here. It is known for its Yemeni coffee, which I'm honestly not entirely sure how it's brewed, but they use really, really good single origin coffee beans. And they also have really, really good honey here from Yemen. It's one of the highest quality honeys you can get and they put some in my latte here. So let's give it a go. It smells very good. Oh my gosh, so good actually. Mm. I chose not to get coffee because I just don't want to get too caffeinated. I've already had a lot of coffee today, so I wanted to go with something a little bit more medicinal, a little bit more nourishing. I freaking love Bay Ridge so far. It's so diverse, so lovely, so many small businesses, so many different communities of different races, different ethnicities. It's just so cute. You can tell like this is what New York City really is. This is how locals live, where locals live. I feel like tourists just never get to come and experience this and experience what New York City is all about, which is just the hub of all different kinds of cultures, all coexisting together and all respecting each other's cultures and all looking out for each other. And I can definitely sense that here in Bay Ridge. Didn't expect to see a large like Chinese community here too, but also not unexpected because there's really just Chinese people everywhere in New York City. I don't know. It just warms my heart. I always tell Andrew this whenever we travel to different like neighborhoods or different boroughs. It's just really cool to think about like everyone's story, where they came from, why they moved to New York City, how they plan to continue spreading their culture, spreading their legacies. Yeah. And I feel like there's just like an endless array of restaurants to try in New York City, which is why me and Andrew try to like venture out because I feel like a lot of people, they just get stuck in Manhattan and they don't go out and see other neighborhoods. I did not expect how much I would like Bay Ridge, honestly. But I freaking love it. Here at Owl's Head Park, gonna get a little walk in to digest all the food we just had. Mm -hmm. 